they either work with mathematical models, um, say to model a star or a galaxy, um, or they work with computational simulations that kind of take those mathematical models to the next level. Maybe the equations aren't that simple, so you mix in different equations and then you solve those equations on a computer. And then the data that you analyze, instead of coming directly from the stars, is coming from the computer. Uh, and in the end, um, what makes it meaningful is that you want the predictions coming from your mathematical models or your simulations to match the data that's being analyzed by the astronomers or experimentalists. I've done work in cryptography and security. There's elements of uh, quantum computing that intersect with that. I've done work in computer science uh, and artificial intelligence. There's elements of quantum computing nowadays being used in machine learning. And I've done work in fundamental physics, uh, trying to figure out the fundamental laws of, of gravity. And there are elements of quantum computing which help us understand the fundamental laws of physics. Having quantum computing on um, your radar as a researcher, no matter what area of science that you're in, and being able to follow the general articles um, so that you can spot as a researcher the point at which experimental quantum computing has reached um, the level where it would be useful in your research and not coming to the party you know, five or ten years late would be very uh, useful for people on the cutting edge. Um, you know, when is this going to be relevant for my research? Uh, what's the state of the art in the field? Um, another commonly asked question is, you know, what does it actually mean when I hear something is this many qubits? You know, what does that translate into in terms of practicality? Quantum computing had kind of the intersection of a variety of uh, different fields I've been involved in, cryptography, artificial intelligence, uh, physics. Uh, my new job will have uh, the intersection of uh, aerospace and um, astrophysics and cryptography and um, artificial intelligence. I am going to be working as a cybersecurity researcher for deep space missions. I guess the message that I would convey to the general audience is that quantum computing might seem um, rather esoteric or far off. Um, if you read, you know, popular accounts, you know, you think quantum mechanics, Schrodinger's cat, paradoxes, you know, all sorts of bizarre behavior that might be hard to wrap your mind around. Uh, fundamentally, if you're going to study the mathematics of quantum mechanics, um, it's not that complicated. There's a couple rules that you need to learn um, that involve matrices. Um, and you could even study these rules without knowing any other mathematics. Um, and as long as you know these rules, you will be able to do uh, computations on small number of qubits just as well as um, an ideal quantum computer. Um, so although the consequences of me quantum mechanics are mysterious, um, understanding the basic building blocks behind those quantum mechanics, um, uh, those consequences that are, that are mysterious, um, is not mysterious at all. <laughs>